They pre-tension the sling into the loading position, then place the 130-pound Susie aboard. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's in. She's in. That's it. If you've ever flown economy, you know just how Susie's feeling. But it's all systems go for a second shot at the world record. OK, I'm pulling the pin. Guys, go ahead and start up. The great all slowly stretch up the surgical rubber. Looking good. Adam, get ready to fire. Go ahead. Roger that. OK, I recommend to fire. To go, Adam. Five, four, three, two, one. As Jamie would say, whoops. Well, that was a familiar result. So what went wrong this time? What happened is the same thing that happened with our bowling ball. The sling is actually rotating around, holding on to the dummy and slinging him back. How we solved that, I'm not exactly sure. We put almost absolute full tension on the rig this last run, and uh, um, uh, the dummy looked like she was going pretty awful fast. I think if we can manage to release her properly, we'll see what this rig is capable of. Adam thinks that taking up some of the seat slack might help to release the dummy. You could almost try it not around that. Just give it a oh, okay. Yeah. All right. They also try seating her sideways. Yeah, I see what you're doing, Corey, and I like that. Five minutes, I want to be going. Woo! Seconds out, round three. Okay, go ahead and uh, start to tension. Tension's the word. Another failure now, and this myth's in trouble. Adam, I want you to do the count quick once we get into position, over. OK, stop Grant. Fire at will. I am firing in three, two, one. <laughs> we still didn't really get a good launch. At least it wasn't a like throwback. The high-speed camera shows that Susie slipped out of her sling, so she didn't receive all the available thrust. 128 feet. I'm afraid she's still a Canadian. Border crossing, that's what it's all about. There's only enough daylight left for one final launch. Buster's understudy, Rescue Randy, takes the hot seat. OK, oops. He's going to be shooting for the world human cannonball record of 201 feet. Jamie's made a last minute adjustment to the sling arrangement. Adam's impressed. Let's go! Jamie, it looks a lot more diabolical now. I don't know, you might have done it. Not one to be left out, Adam makes his own modification to the launch seat so that the dummy sits higher up. This is center of bounce was about here. I want it to be here. That was that string, this is that string. It looks, it looks high, uh. I know it looks high, but he, he was real low last time. This is a classic Mythbusters scenario. We're just about to do the end thing. You've made a modification, and I'll have made a modification, and we'll both want to take credit if it works. <laughs> I've seen it before. You can take credit, uh. Oh, he's socking me in the jaw. There you go. The center of balance is pretty much dead in the middle. OK. I think this one's going to go. I do. How far? 220 feet. 220? The light is fading fast. They hurriedly pre-tension the sling and make a final pre-flight inspection. I think it looks pretty good. Let's pull the pin and do it. Pin is out. Release cable is clear. OK, go ahead and tension. I want this to work. Grant and Tori slowly advance towards the edge of the dock to get the 165-pound dummy past the world record marker. They'll need every inch of the 40-foot stretch. Go ahead and stop. Tori, keep going. When the sling is at maximum tension, 4,000 pounds of pressure is ready to be unleashed. OK, stop. Fire at will. Three, two, one. <laughs> Blast off. Now that's a throw. Yes. 
Wow! He's faster! 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 He's my money says he would have gone over if we had more time to balance it. Um, because it's not far away. He would have gone over the fence, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. I would reckon that he would have easily made it over the fence because we lost so much energy to this. Yeah. The high-speed camera shows that Buster's stunt double still slipped out of the sling, causing him to rotate. But it was still quite a flight. He broke the world record. For cannonball. What is it? What, what? what was our distance? Your distance at the first landing was 211 feet. Huh? Well, nicely awesome. done. I'd say that's a, a good job. job. That's all we can do today. Let's beautiful, pack up and work. work. Oh, <laughs> they flung their final fling. It's been a myth busting marathon. Which started like this and ended like this. A world record, for a dummy at least. Not a bad consolation prize, but the myth of the border slingshot is busted. You know, that was a lot of fun to try, but I think you and I were both pretty clear from the get-go that the whole idea of a traveling rig that throws immigrants 200 yards onto a mattress was ludicrous. Yeah, but from an engineering standpoint, we did prove that it would be possible, and I think that we could have done it if we had another week or so to nut it out. Yeah, it might have been possible, but look at the spirit of the myth. To throw up 200 yards would be a much bigger thing than we built, and ours is in no way portable. And Randy was going 56 miles per hour when we threw him 200 feet. If we threw him 200 yards, he'd be going close to 100 miles an hour. And everything we've done with Buster says that's not a survivable fall, no matter what kind of mattress you've got. You just need more of them. Maybe like 200. No way. This thing is completely and totally busted. We did it. Yeah, well, okay. It's busted. Oops.